Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Apella David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to use array constant inside our VLOOKUP function. So let's get started. Now, in our sample data set, we can see this transaction showing dates, sales executive, and the sales amount generated by each of our sales executive. Now, before I show us this VLOOKUP with array constant, I'm going to do this VLOOKUP that is to return the commission using the traditional method. In that case, I'm going to use the table array. So let's start. Equal sign VLOOKUP. Now, the function by definition looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column specified. And by default, our table array must be sorted in ascending order, which is exactly what I have here. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now, the VLOOKUP requires, for the first argument, the lookup value. So I'm going to click on cell 04, comma. Now, the table array is this range. And I'm going to make it absolute by deploying on my keyboard F4 so that when I copy down the formula, it does not move down relatively. So F4 on my keyboard, comma. Now, the column index number can be found in the table array. So this is by understanding column index number one and this is column index number two. Now, because we are dealing with commission, I want to return the commission. So I'm going to just type in two representing this column index number two. Then comma. Now the fourth argument is the range lookup. By default, VLOOKUP performs approximate matching. Or you can even just keep that entirely, or you can even put true or one. Any one of these is okay. So I'm going to just put in one, close my formula, and I deploy on my keyboard F9 to see what it's going to deliver. Now it's going to deliver $450 dollars as the commission so press ctrl z to go back and ctrl enter and that's returned 450 commission awesome so i'm going to double click this fill and do to copy down the formula now we have returned the commission so let me just explain the rationale behind this commission now the sales amount here is 17,000 plus now in our table array as the formula is going down it's able to say 40 and because 17,000 is below 40,000. It's most back to 15 and looks left and return 450 as commission. Let's take this as an example also. This transaction in row number nine. The sales amount is 53,000 plus. Now, in here, we can actually see that 53 is below 60k. So, as the formula is going down, it's able to see 60, go back up and deliver 1200. So that's the rationale behind approximate VLOOKUP. So let's see how to use the array constant inside our VLOOKUP. So in cell Q for equal sign VLOOKUP, press my tab key, the lookup value remains the same, comma. Now the table array is where we're going to introduce our array constant. So for that, I'm going to deploy on my keyboard the own get. Now, inside that, I'm going to just deploy zero, comma, representing this zero we have here in this side of the table array, and another zero. Let me just move this screen tape. Then I'm going to put in a semicolon, followed by 15, zero, 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 comma, 450, semicolon, 40, zero, 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 comma, 1200, semicolon, okay, 60, zero 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 comma eighteen hundred another semicolon and finally eighty zero 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 comma two four zero zero and i finally close my scully braces comma so i need to specify the column index now this is just the way it works this first zero fifteen forty sixty and eighty thousand they are representing the column index number one. So all these 0, 450, 1200, 1800, and 2400 represent column index number two. So because we are interested in column index number two, I'm going to just type in two. And finally, I just close the formula because it's going to perform approximate matching anyway. So when I deploy on my keyboard, F9, boom, 
it's going to deliver 450 as commission. So press my control Z and finally on my keyboard deploy control enter. And that gave us 450 colors as our commission. So I copy on the formula and we achieve the same result. Okay. Now if I delete this and I delete this our table array, this still looks perfect because we do not specify a physical table array, but we took advantage of the array constant to undo the table array arguments. So this is essentially how we use array constant inside the powerful VLOOKUP. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please ensure you subscribe to this channel, give some likes and comments. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.